another episode of the Dangerous Deuce podcast. I'm super excited. Nope, we are not doing this. It is not recording. Um, <laughs> technical difficulties, you guys. This is what happens when you have technical difficulties. Okay, we should be going on now. We should be good to go. All right, there we go. Let's bring the microphone a little bit closer. There you go. Let's start recording in three, two, and one. Welcome to the Dangerous Divas Podcast, take two of trying it out because it didn't work for a little bit. So here we are. Today, we're going to talk about you can't go out to eat and still lose weight. There's like this huge myth out there that, you know, you feel like you can't go out to eat and enjoy your life while being on the weight loss journey. So if you think that when it comes to your fitness journey, you will listen to that episode because if you tell yourself, if I go out to eat today, I won't be able to see results. This is like not sustainable. So we're going to change that mindset and I'm going to explain to you a couple things. So if you end up staying in and eating the boring ass chicken and broccoli, you know, because you don't want to go out to eat and lose your progress, and you literally regret going out to eat with your family and friends because that sounds so much fun. If that sounds familiar to you, I want you to say yes or give me a head nod and I want you to listen to this episode very closely. So let me just start by saying that you can, you can go out to eat and still lose weight if, if you make good choices. Let me repeat that again. You can go out to eat and still lose weight if you make good choices so many women out there think that they have to give up everything they love chocolate dinner with friends and families um going on trips and vacation in order for them to get to their goals and some like obviously yes you have to make some sacrifices obviously just like anything right but the last thing you need is feeling alone and isolated during this awesome journey. You want to make this journey fun. You want to make this journey enjoyable because it's not only a journey that you're on, but it's also a lifestyle change. And some of us even get embarrassed to go out to eat because you don't really know what to eat or like you don't really know what to eat or and still be healthy and not, you know, get down on your goals and then you just give up on everything that you want. You actually want, right? Like Pizza sounds really good, right? Like, we have pizza once a week. It's fine, you know? And the way that we feel embarrassed is because society makes us feel guilty if we want to eat healthy. Yes, you you heard that right. Society makes us feel guilty when we eat healthy. It's so uncommon that anytime somebody eats healthy, it's like, oh, she's dieting. No, I'm just eating healthy. Like, I'm not necessarily dieting, right? And I don't want you to feel that way at all. I want you to go out and have a healthy relationship with food. So you just have to learn how to order your food and enjoy it without all the junk that makes it the unhealthy part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a couple tips to eat out and still lose weight because I promise you, it is amazing and it's gonna be so much more fun and it's gonna be much more enjoyable in your fitness journey. For example, I am going out of town on Friday and Saturday. You really think I'm gonna take my meals with me? No, I'm gonna go and enjoy my life, right? So number one, anytime that you order some type of protein, chicken, shrimp, meat, whatever you want, right? Ask for that, but hold off on the butter and the oil. So tell them to like, hey, I don't want butter and oil, can I just have chicken? Because no matter what, they're gonna put oil. And so if they put extra, that would that's what makes it more unhealthy, right? Second thing is if your meal comes with sauces, ask for the sauce on the side. Always, always, always ask for the sauce on the side. Because a lot of times what they do is that they drench the entire thing in sauce, which honestly, sometimes it's kind of disgusting because it's too much. So if you ask on the side and you use a fork, you heard me, a fork, not a spoon, to dip every time your bite. So if you have the sauce on the side and you're gonna go take a bite, use your fork and dip it in the sauce. Don't drench it, just dip it in every single bite. That way you're not eating as much sauce and you're not drenching your entire plate in sauce. Number three, you wanna start with a good baseline. So like I said, salmon, 
chicken, whatever you want to do. For example, you could do salmon with a baked potato with no butter or sour cream. Yes, you can have some sour cream, but like I said, on the side, right? So start with a good baseline of protein. Salmon, um, beef, chicken, shrimp, tofu, whatever you want to do. And then go from there and add in a big potato, a sweet potato, but always ask for the butter, oil, and sauces on the side. Number four, this one literally saved my entire life. Decide what you will order before you go to that restaurant. So if you know where res which restaurant you're going to, it's never been easier to see the menu online more than it is now, right? So look up the menu when you are not hungry or feeling pressured by the other people and make your best decision before you get there. Because once you get to the restaurant, you're gonna be hungry. You're not gonna pick what's best for you. You're gonna pick what sounds better or what looks better because you're so freaking hungry, right? So if you make the decision when you are not hungry, it's gonna be the best decision. And with that, you're not feeling pressured with your friends, you know, or your family telling you, oh, you should do whatever you want, blah, 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 blah. You can go and pick your food ahead of time. I promise you, this saves you so much hassle because you're like, you're sitting there, you know what you're gonna eat and you don't change your mind. And number five, don't get peer pressure into eating this way, okay? A lot of people are either gonna hate on you for eating healthy, or they're gonna try to peer pressure you into eating all the bad stuff. After all, this is your journey, not anyone else's. You don't have to be mean to them either, right? But you have to stick with your plan and be disciplined. And yes, sometimes it's gonna be tough. And yes, sometimes you might even break down, but it's okay. Don't be mean, you're slowly going to make an impact on them with your discipline to eating healthy. And who knows, maybe later on, they're gonna wanna join you, right? But you have to make sure that you're doing what you want to do and what's best for you, for your journey, for your health, that you're not going to regret when you get home because you got peer pressure. So those are all like five amazing tips that I use every single time I go out to eat. And I promise you, it helps so much to stay on track and it just helps you make the best decision for you, ordering you know the best thing on the menu rather than something that's super bad. It sounds really, really good because you're really hungry. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Send me a message on Instagram at SalomeAbaker. And you guys, thank you so much for listening to the Dangerous Divas podcast. I appreciate you so much. If you're watching, please take a screenshot of the episode and um, share it on your Instagram story and tag me at Salome Abaker. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode.